Hello, welcome to my weekly Look Ahead video. Can I first say how great it was to see so many people turn up for Remembrance uh, Sunday. I was honoured to lay wreaths at uh, Shoreham and at uh, Lansing in the afternoon and both were absolutely packed with people from all generations, which is always good to, uh, to, to see. We've got a busy week in Parliament. We've had the post-16 education bill, which is all about reform of the further education system. A lot of additional money is at last going into that uh, sector. Uh, reforms around uh, apprenticeships, schools for life and T qualifications uh, as well. It's, uh, it's a, a very welcome piece of legislation. Uh, we also have the finance bill this uh, week which will be going on for several weeks. That's the legislation which puts into uh, effect the measures which came out in the, uh, the budget a few weeks uh, ago. Um, we have some interesting debates around funding for um, autism uh, and we also had a really good announcement um, which didn't get a lot of attention about some additional research funding coming from the government to go into uh, motor neuron disease, MND, which is a really nasty uh, disease. And if we can find at last uh, a, a cure or treatment for that, I know many people will welcome that uh, considerably. We've got a debate on the tragic case of Nazanin Zahari um, Ratcliffe, and I'm glad that her husband has, uh, has finished his hunger strike outside the Foreign Office. This is a really difficult situation. Many people have written to me um, uh, about it. Um, there is no justification for Iran to be continuing to put her in, in, uh, in, in jail. I've written to all those people who have written um, to me, but Iran just needs to do the decent, uh, the decent thing. We cannot be financing terrorism, which is effectively what they're asking um, to do. Um, we've got an interesting private members bill, a 10 minute rule bill as it's called, on banning um, barbecues on open moorland, which I certainly support because we've seen some really devastating fires caused by people really carelessly just leaving uh, a spent uh, barbecue behind and I think we need to do something on, uh, on that. Um, we've also a debate around the uh, problem of getting visas for British, museum, uh, British musicians uh, in the uh, EU, which I know has caused some problems for some of the uh, local entertainers that we've uh, got. The Home Affairs Select Committee this week is continuing our review into channel crossings. That problem is still with us. We had record numbers and I know how frustrated people are, as I am, and the Home Secretary is uh, about this. Um, and again, I've put something on my Facebook page about, uh, about that. I've got a series of meetings this week. I've got a meeting uh, with Adoption UK about uh, adoption measures in this country, which is something I was very involved with when I was Children's Minister. Uh, I've had a meeting with a group of Australian MPs who've been at the COP uh, conference talking about uh, Australia's uh, contribution to combating uh, climate uh, change. Um, I had uh, a briefing uh, earlier this week with the County Council, with residents from the Upper Shoreham Road and with the Shoreham Bicycle Group uh, on the consultation they've had on a cycle lane and other measures in and around Upper Shoreham Road. That's going to be published in the next week or so and again I'll make sure that's on my Facebook page. There's also a consultation result about a potential cycle lane in Findon Valley going up to Findon as well. Again I'll make sure all those are on my uh, website and on Facebook page. I've got meetings with some refugee groups, Safe Passage and others about the Nationality and Borders Bill which will come back to the House of Commons shortly. I've got meetings around National Citizen Service um, I will be attending virtually the Social Worker of the Year Awards, which is always a really uh, fantastic event showcasing some of the work that uh, really difficult work that many of our social workers uh, do. Um, I'm speaking to a couple of schools about the Armenian Genocide Bill, which I put forward um, last, uh, last week. I shall be attending Gilcare, a great local charity in Worthing, where a couple of the volunteers, Peter Kennard and um, Derek Steele, are being uh, given uh, awards from the uh, uh, from the Queen. Great tribute to the work that the charity uh, does. I've got meetings with the co-op about assaults on shop workers. I've got a catch up with the local um, police. I've got a briefing from the CCG and I'll do an update on the vaccination uh, booster campaign. I've got a meeting with Rampion about the scaling up of their um, wind farm. Uh, and then it's amazingly Christmas fair time already on Saturday, so I should be out and about in the constituency. Uh, and then um, I should be going on Sunday night to a conference in Rome for all those MPs from around the world who've been sanctioned, of which I'm uh, one. So I'm going to be away from Parliament for a couple of days next, uh, next week, so I'll report back slightly late uh, next week. So busy next seven days ahead.